Hello and welcome links here. This is Sakura Sakubus 7 and now that we also well pretty much gone to into got into the hands of the kidnapper they have two people under control sort of that's wonderful <laughs> but well I should have expected that much from Hiroki being a dance protagonist, sadly enough. <sighs> I blink, scattering wide dots from the field of my vision and lift my head. My chair just like dropped for some reason. My head aches and I can feel a wave on my chest. Ooh. My back is pressed against something cold and hard and my limbs feel numb, as though they don't really belong to me. I can taste iron in my mouth and it's hard to breathe. Iron again. What's going on? Why do I feel so weak? I blink a few more times and then... Uh. I knew it! I knew it was you! Finally my vision comes into focus and when it does I discern the source of my current discomfort. I'm lying on the ground and there's somebody sitting at top of me. A very attractive somebody who looks very faintly familiar. Oh good, you're finally awake. It's good to see that you are right, Mr. Ogasawara. Or would it be right if I called you... Hiroki? We've become so close it would be awkward to keep using your family name, but I've liked you for quite a long time. <laughs> what? A woman sitting astride me, pinning me to the ground with her face, has pale skin and long fair hair. I've seen this one before. I'm certain of that much, for during our last encounter she was in a decidedly more rumpled state. I remember now that I saw her in the theme park. I ran to her and knocked her to the ground. Now she did it to you. <laughs> anyway, I felt pretty bad about that, so I fought my hands, but she declined. Now, how did our encounter go? I think it was a little like this. I'm very sorry for getting in the way, Mr. Kasawara. Please forgive me for my clumsiness. You copy pasted this, didn't you? <laughs> because the name is messed up again. You've been good to me already. I could not ask for more. Yeah, that's right. I can remember being perturbed at the time on account of her knowing my name. Was he? I wonder how she learned it when I did not get a chance to tell her, but I never had a chance to ask. Okay, that's... no. He didn't think that. I was thinking that. He didn't fall. I feel like he didn't. Or maybe my memory is lying to me right now, but I think he didn't ask that at all. He ask, didn't ask himself. Yeah. Her, obviously. I never thought I'd see her again, but it seems I was mistaken. Of course you were. The one sitting is right me in this dank, dark warehouse is definitely her, for she doesn't look quite as recalled. I mean... She became a succubus. Other than that, she's the same. She dispensed with the 3D Victorian style attire. Oh yeah, that attire was so nice. Well, it was so nice. <laughs> and instead, she's wearing something rather more form-fitting. I see. I can see horns protruding from her scalp too, and wings from her back. Black but like wings, which flutter behind her. Yep. I thought there was something odd about this woman when I first clapped eyes on her, but now I'm certain of it. She isn't an ordinary woman. She's instead a succubus. Oh, that is correct. My name is Alice and I come from the succubus region. Alice. It's a pleasure to meet me. Finally meet you. At long last, I've been waiting. Right. Um... It's nice to meet you too, um, Alice? That isn't a very Japanese name. It sounds 
pretty western. I can't help but think of that popular children's book with the blonde girl who tumbled into Wonderland. Was she blonde? For this Alice has silver hair. Well, maybe. Maybe she was blonde. I, I'm not sure. When you say Alice, I think Alice from the game that we played in the very, very long past. And she was not blonde. Anyway. There is something distinctly gothic about her. Even the third in her saga with form. No complaints about that. Well, I guess that fits. Edgy interpretations of the Alice character are pretty popular too. The name's not a common one. You'd be surprised. But I think it suits this woman. You'd be surprised. Actually, uh, now maybe not, but it was common in past. For, for example, in Poland, it would not be Alice, but Alicia. Of course, it's spoken differently in Polish, but, you know, still. Anyway. That doesn't really explain what she's doing here, for or why she's straddling my chest in this old warehouse. What's going on? Wait, how do you know my name? And what do you mean you were watching me? Could it be? Have you been stalking me? Oh, stalking is an unpleasant word. I prefer watching from a distance. So we're stalking me. That answers one question. That answers one question, at least, but... What are you doing here? I thought to be a parent. I wanted to see you, Hiroki. But why? Why, you ask? I frowns while resting her pelt fingers against my chest just above my beating heart. It's because I like you, of course. You... Like me? Yeah, I do. I like you so, so much. I know what to do with myself. I've liked you for a very, very long time. If I can fall, I try to keep my distance. I can no longer do that. It just isn't fair. I'll... I mean, I have no problem with that. If you can replace the princess, I'm all for it. Alice's expression twists. I've been watching you, and I know that you are very popular among my succubus sisters. Marina is in love with you, Cosmos, Ayu, Hifumi, Hazel! They hold you, they top up on you! Let's not for uh, forget about the queen. They are some of the most beautiful succubi from our realm, but they, uh, they've all taken a shine to you. This made me very, very curious about meeting you myself. I want to see what was so very wonderful about you that so many succubi would fall in love with you. And so I began to follow you. I want to learn more about you, and as I did, I found myself growing more and more enamored. I started to fall for you, but my feelings for you weren't fully cemented until I saw you in Yuve Miruland. Okay. I knew after you knocked me over, then offered me your hand that you really were a good, kind man. I knew what my sisters had seen in you. It was very good of you to care, take care of a useless succubus like myself, who has never been in a relationship before, who is nothing more than a waste of space. You got me on this one. Never been in a relationship before. You got me on this one. <laughs> Alice leans in. Actually, she got me on... On the first meeting, to be fair. That outfit, she got me. Alice leans in, so as to bring her face, which is already perilously close to my own, only a few inches away from me. And so I want to spend more time with you. I want you all to myself, if only for one night. I want you to know just how much I love you. For to be fair, she might be a bit too possessive. I adore you. I only hope before the night ends you will grow to love me too. My dear Hiroki. Alice dips her head, meaning I think to kiss me, but I preempt her. I'm used to one trying to kiss me at this point, and I'm able to jerk my head to one side before her lips can meet my own. Now wait just a sec. I'm very flattered to feel this way about me, uh, Alice, but you're a perfect stranger. I don't know the first thing about you. I don't go around kissing one I've never met before. 
Not often, at least, I append inside my head while recording my very first meeting with Cosmos. Ahem. <clears throat> but Cosmos is a different story. I engage in actions far more salacious than kissing with Cosmos during our first encounter, but what Alice doesn't know, doesn't need to hurt her. Uh, I hope Alice doesn't know about that. Just how much does she know about me and my relationships anyway? I mean, she probably... Doesn't know about stuff from that part of story? But from a bit later? How long has she been watching me? She must know me well enough at least to know about my relationship with Stefania. <sighs> or she wouldn't have... Kidnapped her to lure me out. I'm pretty sure now. That's what happened. But I liked some confirmation of the fact. I especially don't kiss women who force themselves on me either. Bullshit! Where did the one who kidnapped Steffi? Alice, and where did the one who wrote the transom note? There is a brief silence during which Alice observes me, her eyes narrowed before she replies. Yes, you are correct. I did kidnap the Astorian princess and I did write that note. Uh huh. I knew it was that. I mean, I knew it. I knew it earlier. I bet everyone watching this knew earlier as well. Hiroki, you are the slowest. I did so you'd have no choice but to come and see me. I would talk to you, but I didn't know how else to approach you. Like a normal person would. <laughs> I've always been shy, you see, and awkward. I was afraid you would not give me the time of the day. Otherwise, if I did not do something drastic. So many beautiful women are in love with you already. I doubt that you would pay me an attention unless you did something crazy. I pulled for my underhanded actions, but I really was desperate. I want us to be together. I want to in a way I have never wanted anybody before. You are so kind to me and so considerate. Surely you will not push me away. So kind and considerate. Just how little contact in general with people do you have? You're heaping an awful lot of expectations upon my shoulders here. It doesn't seem fair. I look away from Alice, my bro, for road. She's pretty, yes. That much is undeniable, but her singular obsession with me, not to mention the lengths she went to to get my attention, are pretty yikes inducing. Yeah, she might be... Crazy. Then again, I mean... You were kidnapped him, and you were is alright as well. So maybe she's not bad either. Also, let's not forget, I... From my perspective, I'm not interested in the princess. <laughs> I don't think I want to command this sort of behavior. Damn it! If I wasn't trapped beneath her, I'd give her shoulders a good proper shake. Sure you would, Kiroki. Of course. Yeah, right. Mm -hmm. Clearly you... Uh, you clearly, you know, work in a newspaper, basically. Creating those made-up stories like this one. <laughs> and I'm sorry, but I don't think I can forgive you for dragging Steffi into this. She's totally innocent. I can forgive her. And I will. Now let me go! I'm sorry, but I cannot do that. Not when I went to such lengths to claim you. Now that I have you, Hiroki, I won't let anybody come between us. I won't let anybody interrupt our love. I just want to know what it feels like to be adored. What do you mean you won't let anybody come between us? Did you do something to others? What about Barita, Hayo, Cosmos and Elizabeth? Well, Hiroki, you should have shut your mouth and not say anything. Oh, damn! Do we really talk about that lot? Yes, we do. I'm worried about them. You didn't hurt them, did you? No, I didn't. I'm not powerful enough to harm Masako's sisters. They're all much more proficient at magic than I am. 
I don't use my abilities to waylay them. They should at this moment be in quite a bit. I doubt they will be interrupting us, not for half an hour or so at least. Hey? What in the world did Alice do to Marina, Ayus, Cosmos and Elizabeth? I can only imagine. Maybe it's also something like this. Uh, what? This is humiliating. I cannot believe I let this happen to me. What even is this stuff anyway? It's so slimy. Could this be the work of a succubus? It's impossible that a human could have conceived of something like this. I thought the princess had been kidnapped by a group of ne'er-do-wells, but this really is beyond the pale. I feel like I'm being touched in places I didn't even know I possessed. This is so disgusting. Cosmos, are you Elizabeth? Are you free or right? Noise. No, I'm not! But it's the man horrible slimy thing created me! It's sucking over my body! <laughs> me too. I'm being covered in some strange liquid. Or is it a solid? I cannot tell, but it doesn't feel good. It's gross and it smells full. <laughs> Why are you smelling it, you weirdo? I want to know what it reminds me of, and I think I have it. It reminds me of when I went on Tanaka's quiz show. I got every question wrong, and then I was covered in slime. It felt like this, but the slime. Eh. It feels like it's moving on down. It must be enchanted. Those restraints are made of magic. I can feel them. Mm, nullifying my own powers. I feel so weak. Uh, I guess all that recharging before coming here was sort of for nothing? Or maybe not? <laughs> some help! Some help you are! I thought you were meant to be the mature, reliable one! I'm mature and reliable, or at least I try to be. I'm certainly more mature and reliable than you are. My powers do have limits, however. I hadn't a chance to counterattack before this awful vicious liquid was upon us. Now it has me ensnared. I'm not sure what to do. No! no. I cannot let things end like this. Not when my lady is in trouble. I need to help her. I have to help her, but I cannot move. Eh, don't touch me there! Do you hear me? If you lay your horrible filth fingers on me, my fans will launch you, lynch you! You say that, but does slime even have fingers? If it's so gloopy, too gloopy. I don't know, and I don't care! I just want to get it, it, it to get off of me! Would tentacles be better or maybe tendrils? That sounds more accurate. I really couldn't care less! I'm being felt up here, out in public! This is horrible! You can just and you touch an idol like that! Do you have any shame? I don't have any shame, but this embarrassing even for me. It doesn't feel good. Or maybe it does? I don't know how I feel. I know how I feel! I feel like I want to peel my skin off! This is the worst! I can't stand it. This is utterly humiliating. I don't know who is behind this cowardly attack, but when I get my hands on them, I'll wring their neck. I won't stand for this. Is this why you're lying on the ground then? Oh, shut up, Cosmos! You're not helping! <laughs> I am sorry. I thought it was a funny pun, at least. I wanted to lighten the mood. <laughs> but maybe I shouldn't have said anything. I'll never seem to make things awkward. As if things could get more awkward than this. Where's Hiroki when you need him? Won't he come and help us? What is this idiot doing anyway? That's right. What is he doing? Hey. I stared Alice's face into her striking eyes. She still pinged me to the ground. Her fingers curled about my wrist. Her iris, irises pour into mine with disturbing intensity so much so I shudder. No, I don't. 
What do you do to the others? Don't tell me you've hurt them. I won't tell you anything. I'm under no obligation to do that. Not when you refuse to honor my wishes. I thought you'd not come here with other people, didn't I? I believe I was very particular about that in my note. Boom! There you go. You wet it's too bad. But nothing. I told you to come here long, Hiroki, but you didn't listen to me. You ignored me. You betrayed me. Also, he freaking blubbered that information out on his own because he's dumb. You hurt my feelings. But that's fine. I can forgive you for that. I would forgive you for anything, Hiroki. You could call me names or pull my hair or spit on me. That's a weird fetish, very weird fetish, no thanks. And I would still adore you. I love you so, so much and I want to show you that. I want to show you how serious I am. The other women you see might say they love you, but they don't care about you as much as I do. They don't think about you every waking hour. That sounds creepy. They don't understand, they cannot understand. But I would like to think that you might be able to understand me, that you might love me. I want to make you all mine. Then nobody can come between us. Not Marina, Cosmos, are you? Alice's eyes flash dangerously. Or even that foreign princess. Uh, okay, foreign princess or rank. You, we can drop her away. I don't have a problem with that. She's mech. I won't let them. It's funny she's not mentioning you at all. Does she not know? <laughs> that would be weird, to be fair. So saying, Alice dips her head, then pushes her mouth against mine. Uh, I gasp with a kiss, surprise, which Alice, of course, uses to her advantage. She tries her tongue, kisses my mouth, then coils it with my own. Alright, get ready, there will be a mention of spit, I'm sure. Her kiss is deep and intense, and I sigh against it. Uh, it feels as she kisses me like I'm sinking into a deep, dark swamp all the way to the bottom to a realm utterly devoid of light from which I'll never be able to escape. That's a weird way to describe a kiss. Alice has me completely in her troll. Mm -cha! Or something. Alice sighs against my mouth and rolls back a gossamer strand of saliva. I knew it! It wouldn't be a Wing Clouds game if they didn't mention saliva. I said spit before, right? They always said saliva. Anyway, I mean it's the same thing, but you know. Anyway, stretching between our parted lips. She cursed my cheek with one hand and strike me, she murmurs in a voice low with lust. Oh, Hiroki, you really are sweet. I was trying to fall for you. I can't think of any man who... I like to be with more than you, or any woman for that matter. You feel so good and you taste so good too. Can you hear my heart pounding? I feel like I'm going crazy. Mm. Soft sighs fall from Alice's mouth as we kiss, which if I weren't in such a precarious situation I might find cute. As it is however I feel pretty gosh darn uncomfortable to be in this situation and that's not just in physical sense. Alice's kisses feel like they're draining me. I mean, she's a succubus. My body grows cold as she continues her onslaught of affection. The tips of my fingers are starting to feel distinctly numb, so much so I can't bend them. Alice's ardor is sapping my own strength. I know as Alice continues to kiss me that I'm in pretty dire spot. Alice might be slighter than me and shorter, but I'm in no fit state to throw her off me. I'm too tired. I mean, probably wouldn't. Okay, let's face it, you wouldn't have the strength anyway. Even if you're supposed top condition. Come on, Hiroki, be realistic. Like a hapless princess from a fairy tale. I need somebody to come and rescue me, but who? The only people who know I'm here are in a similar state of helplessness themselves. Probably. Marina, I'm Cosmos, and Elizabeth all fell into Alice's trap. They won't be able to rescue me. Mm. Is this. Really it? Is this how my life ends? Is this how Sakura and Succubus comes to an end like that? Am I going to expire here and now, in a cold, dreary warehouse in the middle of the night, kissed to death by a possessive, promiscuous Succubus? If you 
think about it, that's not a terrible bad, terrible death. Yeah. I don't want this to happen, but what can I do? Is there anything I can do? I'm only a human. I'm weak, feeble, positively puny. Alice, meanwhile, is much stronger than I am, and she gets stronger with every kiss she steals from me. Her power is increasing every time she takes my saliva in her mouth. <laughs> I can't withstand her. I'm almost beginning to give up on hope when... Ahem, <clears throat> excuse me, but it is my boyfriend you are currently slobbering over. I would advise you to get your hands in your mouth off him if you know what's good for you. This shameless behavior, even for a succubus, and I will not stand for it. Eh? Alice starts, perhaps, abashed, and glances over her shoulder. I glance too, past Alice's head to the mysterious interlooper who is stepping into the warehouse, and when my eyes meet theirs, I stare. Let's go! I know this woman, with her cool icy gaze and her intense, indomitable aura. It's none other than you, the queen of the succubus realm. She must have been watching me from the succubus realm, as she occasionally does, and she must have seen too, when I found myself in this dire situation. Now she's come to save me, just like I dreamed. Dang, now that's also embarrassing. I'm distinctly abashed being seen in an emasculating position like this, pinned bodily beneath Alice, my mouth swollen from the intensity of her kisses. I really do feel like a princess from a fairy tale, but a ravished princess from some non child friendly R18 retelling. The best kind. Would that make you a handsome prince then? She looks dashing enough, I suppose. Standing by the entrance of the warehouse with her arms folded beneath her ample chest. If I had to describe you as a crush in the world, I'd say that she looks pissed. If I granted two words to describe the look on your face, I'd say she looks really pissed. US ire isn't directed towards me, but Alice, even but even so, I feel myself shuddering. It looks if looks could kill, Alice would be dead ten times over. Alice herself seems to realize this because she gets to her feet and stares at you alarmed. Lady, what was with her doing here? What? Why do you think? US service, Alice arcly, her eyes narrowed. I noticed that you were taking liberties with my boyfriend, and I thought I ought to put you in your place. For I agreed to share Hiroki with some of my other subjects, I met no such agreement with you. You don't be have my permission to lay so much as a finger on him, much less kiss him. You've been a very, very naughty girl indeed, and as such you deserve to be punished. Hey, your boyfriend! A dumb stark Alice looks at me, then back to you, uh, quickly she puts two and two together, it's no mystery based on US fish, what our relationship is then gobs. Hey, does that you mean to say that you're in a relationship with Hiroki too? Indeed I am, did you not know that? I'm surprised that this matter has kept your attention, given how intently you've been observing him. Suppose you didn't know him as well as you thought you did. How sad! And you thought you were in love with him. <laughs> what a joke! You can't have loved him all that much if you did not know that he is the property of your queen. Now! Ooh. <laughs> the name of the achievement. None shall pass. <laughs> She's pissed. She's like proper pissed. You extends her palm and when she does dark energy it begins to gather about her fingertips. Yu's eyes, which were already hard and flinty, grow harder still as she stares Alice down. Would you kindly leave Hiroki alone? I shall overlook this indiscretion. Gross void is if he runs to leave and to never interact with him again. Oh, let's not go that far. Let's not go that far. I liked her sort of outfit. I like the way she looks. How about we kick out the boring princess out of the cast and we keep her? This is Succubus. Sakura Succubus. Sakura Succubus. Princess is not a Succubus. Let's kick her out. Please. If you're unable to do that for then... The darkness swirling about you as fingers grows more and more pronounced. You and I'll be at quite an impasse. 
powerful for you may be. After feeding all your essence, you cannot hope to compete with me. I'm your queen and I have ways at my disposal to make you bow to me, whether you wish it or not. When it comes to the competition of the raw strength, you cannot win. Now be a good girl and stand aside or I will make you. <laughs> Alice takes a step back, perturbed. She holds her hands to her chest, her expression streak and then says, I didn't What makes weird like this? Then maybe you should step away from Hiroki before things get nasty. I feel like she might have something up her sleeve. Believe me, I do not want to hurt you either. I know that, but I... Ali swallows. Oh. And I want to get to your bedside, me lady, truly I did that! Uh, if I doubt if Hiroki was your beloved, I wouldn't have seen so brazen in pursuing him. You oughtn't to have been so brazen in pursuing him regardless of our relationship. It is in bad form, you know, to force yourself upon somebody who does not care for your affections. Hey devs, are you listening to what you pretty much are saying here? Literally the princess for the past three games. No succubus should return to such aggressive tactics. Humans too. You brought shame upon a succubi with your actions. It is not me you should apologizing to really, but Hiroki, you subjected him to a great deal of abuse, all in the name of love. Here you snorts. <laughs> As if what you felt for him was really love, regardless of what you claim, when you had no compunctions in making him feel so uncomfortable. But what I felt for Hiroki? Was it not love? Eh? No, it was not. What you felt was obsession, it is quite different. Obs but that sounds... so ugly. Alice sniffles, her eyes begin to bed with tears, tears of abashment, perhaps at her own actions. I want my feelings for you to pure and true. That's why I pursue him and I would have depth and otherwise. I was certain that my feelings must be love. But you are saying I was mistaken. I'm certain that you were. You will let her hands drop as she speaks and the dark magical energy pulsating about her begins to dissipate. She must have realized, as I have while listening to Alice, that she isn't about to launch a counterattack. Alice looks too forlorn to try and strike a blow against Yue. And even if her heart wasn't breaking, which it seems to be, I don't think she would try to attack her anyway. By the way, uh, her wings seem to be damaged. Or is that how it's supposed to be? Alice seems to respect Yue too much for that. I can say this with certainty, for I'm speaking from past experience. <laughs> Once I too mistook my petty, envious feelings of obsession for love. I pushed my feelings upon Hiroki, one-sided, for they were, and made him suffer for them. I told myself that this was the true nature of romance, but now I know I was mistaken. Love is not stuff you can force on somebody, not without their consent. If you truly love somebody, it should manifest in wanting them to be happy, regardless whether they wish to seek that happiness with you or not. Hmm... I sort of agree. But at the same time... I mean... <laughs> Maybe if it maybe it works because it's a harem game or whatever, right? But hmm. Still, I feel like if you love someone, sure you want them to be happy, but you don't want that person to make someone else happy, sort of, right? Or more like you don't want someone you love to be made happy by someone completely else. Something like that. Does it make sense? I think it does. Anyway. What? But that sounds painful. Yeah, that sucks. 
I don't want Hiroki to reject me. I'm staying with him. I don't know what it feels like to be loved. Just like you, the rest of my Sakuma sisters. Hiroki loves all of them. He even loves Sayu, despite her bad attitude. So why can he not love me? What is wrong with me? Why does nobody care about me? Why? Why can I never get what I want? I just want to know for once what it felt like to care for somebody and no be cared for in return. Was it really so very awful of me? Did I really use something to that unforgettable? Please tell me, milady, will I always be alone? A few moments of silence pass during which you regards Alice and Alice regards you. During these quiet, understated moments, neither of them speak. Perhaps neither of them know what to say. So I break the silence and say, <clears throat> Could someone untie me? <laughs> I would totally do that. Alice is inhaling sharply, her breathing rocked as her chest rises and falls. You and Minuel regards Alice with a curious expression upon her face. Yue doesn't look angry anymore, at least, but I'm not sure if she's sad either. Is she pitying instead? Does she? Feel sorry for Alice? Oh, Alice, you pee, poor misguided thing. Yo takes a step forth, the heels of her formidable shoes striking against the ground. Me? Alice shrinks away from Yue like a startled cat might, but Yue doesn't draw back. Instead, she continues to walk towards the subject. Until they are only a few feet away from one another, and then Yue reaches out. He? I can tell as Alice recalls that she fears Yue will enact upon her some kind of violent vengeance. Violent vengeance. She must be expecting some kind of blow, perhaps a slap across the face or fingers furling in her hair. But contrary to Alice's expectations, Yue does none of those things. Dude, Yue looks so beautiful on this one. Huh, I feel like Yue is climbing the ladder for me in this game. Let's go. Anyway. Instead, she takes hold of Alice's trembling hand, then says her voice gentle and almost mother motherly. No, I do not think it's a bad thing to want to be loved. I cannot judge you for that. Milady! Shyly, Alice cracks her eyes open and surveys you, blinking at her from beneath her sweep of long dark lashes. Alice's expression is incredulous, as though she can't quite believe what Yue is saying or doing, and for a good reason. Only a few moments prior, Yue threatened to obliterate Alice. Now, however, Yue's expression is almost tender. Milady! Uh, I mean, I mean... I thought that you were mad at me! I was... When I saw you had resorted to such underhanded tactics to gaining Hiroki's attention. I'm still mad at you, in fact, for forcing yourself upon him so leaving and leaving him quite powerless to resist. But I cannot judge you too harshly for your actions. As I said, I was once like that. I thought much like you did. I told myself I was in love with Hiroki and I used my feelings to justify committing many awful actions against him. I took away his freedom and I tried to forcibly steal his affections from him. I thought this my right as his first ever partner and the queen of the Sakubai to boot. But I know now I was only making convenient excuses for myself. Deep down, I think part of me realized my actions were unco unconscio unconscionable. In trying to bend Hiroki to my will, I really ran the risk of ruining whatever remained of our relationship and that if I had been allowed to continue would have been a true pity. My relationship with Hiroki is very precious to me after all. It is more precious now than it was before because after lending in my advances I finally gave Hiroki the opportunity to love me properly. I gave him a choice for that is what all relationships are, are, are about. Wing Cloud, I hope you're listening what you said here. Both parties must consent to love one another. It is not something that can come about through force. And... Okay, I will need to go and pick a package in a moment. I had to learn this lesson the hard way, through much trial and error. I only hope you can come to learn this too. Milady! I... I had no idea you would never felt like that before. 
anymore. Uh, I thought I was lost in my feelings. Uh, in my one-sided obsession, as you termed it. I didn't think anybody would be able to understand me. I was afraid I was broken. You aren't broken. You are lonely, that is all, and jealous. I can understand these feelings well. I too was lonely, Will, whiling away my days in the Succubus realm, and I was horribly, horribly jealous when I was a Hiroki cavort cavorting around with my subjects, including my older cousin. I was so jealous I could hardly stand it. What? And you and I? Alice blinked, and as she does, she disturbs a few tears clinging to her lower eyelashes. These tears could... Eh, uh, could. These tears curse down her cheeks, then drip onto the dirty floor at the warehouse. Are we... similar? We are. Or at least we were. I'm not the petty, vindictive, angry woman I once was. Or at least I'm better able to keep my uglier emotions in check. I still have a long way to go, but I'm still young. I'm sure I will change much in the years to come, as will the nature of my relationship with Hiroki. That is how we all are for human, succubus, none of us can remain the same. No matter how wretched you may feel right now, Alice, you can still change. It is not too late. That's true. With time, patience and genuine effort, I can. I am certain you can become a better version of yourself too. A version that they are able to like. Do you really think so? I'm certain of it. I'm your queen, so you ought to listen to me. My word is the law, and I'm per confident when I say despite your actions, I do not think you are an evil person. You are just misguided. You want to be loved, so you force your feelings upon Hiroki. I can understand this well, and I will not condemn you for it. He said I would like to become your friend. I think you deserve it. You, your friend? I just gobs at you, eh? her eyes almost comically wide. But, but, but lady, I'm but a lowly succubus with hardly the power to call my own. I'm successful and I have no friends and no any special talents. My fellow succubus sisters all think of me as a failure and failure, right? I've never been able to seduce anybody before, I'm not in all my life. How could you ever want to be a friend? I, I don't deserve it. Now that you see your problem, you need to learn to like yourself. Then perhaps you will feel less inclined to seek affection from men like Hiroki, who are unwilling to give it. I was willing to give it. Please, try to be more confident. Which is the same as, try to have more confidence. You are very pretty in your own way, and I think you are strong. Yes, she is, she is. You can overcome your affliction as truly as I could, so long as we stay together. Me lady! Oh, oh me lady! Alice whimpers, then after a pause leans forth and lets you embrace her. Her head cradles against U.S. chest. I don't think I'm worthy of your affections, but if you insist upon being so nice to me, then I will accept them. It would be rude to reject your offer to cheer me, so... I would like to be your friend, I would like it very, very much. I'm tired of being alone. Shh. It's alright, Alice. You aren't alone, not anymore. I'm here and I want to comfort you, I promise. That is what friends to do, after all. Friends, hmm. I hear footsteps and then uh, their eyes will swell off. <sighs> I suppose that is easy enough for you to say you and when that woman... Marina points an accusatory finger in Alice's direction. Then humiliate you. Oh? What did Alice do to humiliate you, might they ask? Hey! Well, that is... It was... It was very sticky! Slimy too! Sticky and slimy, hmm... Yeah! It got all over me and I think some of it even got inside me! It's horrible! It just stinks like rotten eggs! I feel like I need a shower. Me too! It's like one of the worst nights I've had in my whole life. This is even worse than the one that handshake with an even the stage where a crazy fan of mine tried to cut off a hunk of my hair to keep us a souvenir. That's creepy as fuck. I feel like I've been violated. My, my. 
That does sound like an unpleasant fate indeed. Don't tell me you were humiliated in a similar manner, Marina, by this mysterious sticky slime substance. <laughs> the expression on her face makes it so much better. Marina grips her hip together, aggrieved, and glances away. I won't dignify that with an answer. Not when you're taking such obvious amusement in my plight. <laughs> For our queen, you don't seem to care about the welfare of your subjects as much as you ought. I will care about your welfare, Marina, when you show me the respect I'm deserved. I cannot help but note you still, even after all this time, refuse to address me as my lady. Maybe I'll address you as that when you start acting like a ruler out. I cannot believe that you would forgive Alice after all she's done. She deserves some manner of punishment at the very least. You've gone soft. I suppose I might have mellowed out somewhat. It is true after I commenced my relationship with Hiroki. But if I do not think that is a bad thing, I'm happy with the way I'm now. I'm not the angry, indignant woman I once was for the spoil. For a fight, although. U.S. Ice Garden. You do test my patience at times, Marina. How do I test your patience? I did nothing wrong. I was trying to help Hiroki. This wench over here is the one who caused all the problems. <coughs> Alice, doubtless afraid, Marina takes the back at this and hides herself away behind U.S. back. You will notes this because, of course, she does and sighs. <sighs> Marina, please do not raise your voice. There's no way to ender Alice to us. Holy crap, her fights are built different. US are the best for. Can you not see that she's afraid of you? She should be. She deserves a good spunky after what she did. Sp 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 spunky! Alice trembles fitfully, like a baby bird. M -m -m My apologies, but I'm not interested in the kind, of, kind of play. Uh, not unless Hiroki was the one doing the spanking. Ah, this is all so ridiculous. At this point, I couldn't care less who's to blame to whatever the hell is that happened last night. I just want to get out of this cold, miserable warehouse so I can have a shower. Cosmos is right. This stuff really does stink. Or it will ruin my hair. Hmm. Marina frowns. I'm not happy about letting Alice off the hook so easily, but I suppose I concur. I too would very much like to have a shower. Me too. Showers are the best. Banzai! Let us do that then, Hiroki. You approaches me, then helps to my feet. Would you mind escorting us back to your apartment? I think we should be able to, able to relax then. Sure, I guess. That's no problem. But what about... God damn it! You were supposed not to mention that! God damn! I hoped for a cool exit. Hiroki. Only succubuses. And they walk away. And a certain someone is left behind. Stefia mode say, but my guru's query is soon intercepted by an aggrieved cry. Stefania! Oh, Stefania! I was so worried about you! Lizzie! Lizzie is the I knew it! Kind of. I don't know what was the name of the achievement. Whew! Stefania gasped, unable to make any further remarks, as Elizabeth descends upon her. Elizabeth frees Stefania from her restraints swiftly with nothing safe as snap of her fingers, then draws Stefania's body close to her own. Elizabeth's arms twine protectively about Stefania's shoulders while she pulls Stefania's head to her bosom. As far as reunion go, it makes for quite a touching scene, but there is something I love about Elizabeth's appearance, because a certain uh, protagonist is too dumb to realize something like that. I, I mean, maybe I didn't think that she's a succubus, but I did have a feeling, to be fair, I was pretty confident about that, that she would be, you know, some sort of 
demonic character, I would say, maybe. Which means the princess gets kicked out and we are leaving, well, we are left only with Elizabeth, right? Boom, we are back to only succubuses. That's how it should be. Elizabeth is wearing the black and white maid attire she donned before we made our way to the warehouse. She's foregone her usual dress and instead she's dressed in something decidedly more skin tight, something which bears great similarities to the clothes my succubus companions wear. From Elizabeth's head, meanwhile, a pair of horns sprout and from her back I can see the distinctive butt like wings let Marina you went the rest sport. I expected this of course back in Astoria. No you didn't! Or to be impressed, Hifu, Mikhail, and Marina had suspected it, but to have it confirmed comes as quite the shock. I guess Elizabeth isn't an ordinary woman after all. Lizzie! Stefania stares at Elizabeth, her eyes white. What in the world is going on? What are you wearing? That is a... a long story. There is much I have to tell you, my lady, but for the present, I'm simply relieved to see that you are alright. I was so, so worried about you. Well, you need worry for there. I'm going to ride, despite being treated somewhat roughly by uh, this Miss uh, Alice. Stefania's confusion is so painful, I can practically see the question marks hovering above her blonde head. For I do have to wonder uh, at all I have heard and all I have seen. I've never seen a human with wings and train before, not that you met Miss Alice. I thought they might perhaps be props, but then Alice started to speak of being a succubus and then you appeared. Stefania said Elizabeth, her green eyes white. Is this is a practical joke! It is no joke. I just release a succubus, as is Hue, and Cosmos, and the others. We're all succubi, myself included. I kept this secret from you for many years, while working in Astoria's palace, because I feared you would take against me. I don't want to frighten you. While working as your mate, I tried to suppress my instincts as a succubus, so we might be close companions, but alas! When I saw that you had been kidnapped, I could no longer help myself. In my agitation, I could no longer maintain my human form. I had to resume my old appearance before reuniting few, but I could not. This night has been so very stressful, I feel quite unlike myself. I could no longer conceal my true self from you, but know this, milady. No matter what I look like, and no matter who I am, I shall always adore you. You are my beloved princess, and I would do anything to protect you. Oh, Lizzie! I cannot pretend I understand what I have seen and heard tonight, nor that I can make heads or tails of your strange story, but... To be honest, nobody would expect you to be able to... <clears throat> Stefania twines her arms about Elizabeth's waist, uh, so as to hold her close, and then says... I'm so, so glad you came for me! I know, I knew I could trust you, and that is why I wasn't afraid! You really are the best mate I could ever ask for! Do you not resent me, then for keeping secrets from you? Of course not! How could I resent you when you've been by my side for so very long? Whether you are a human, or a succubus, or godness, I don't know, an eldritch abomination from beyond the stars, you will always be easy to me. Oh, my lady, you're so good to me. You're too good, in fact. I don't know whether I deserve your understanding, but now I have received it. I will do all in my power to prove myself worthy. From this day forth, I vow that I shall be fully transparent with you. <clears throat> I'll tell you the truth about myself, the whole truth. So please do not turn against me. I could not bear that. I never would. I want to stay with you too. You are my darling Lizzie after all and my mate. For you might be, you are a more even than that. You are my best friend of the world and I really love you. Hmm. With the debacle in the warehouse well and truly over, I finally return home. My retinue of Sakubi plus Stefania in tow. Once we return, Alice looks at me and somberly she says, Ali, I'm sorry, you don't for causing you so many problems! A, um, apology accepted. By the way, supposedly only one achievement left to get. I just want to spend some time with you. Well, I think Riley, if that was Alice's leading scheme, but by the way, that outfit is so good. I freaking love it. 
Uh, well, I think Riley, if that was Alice's little scheme, it certainly succeeded. She was able to spend quite a lot of time with me before you were interrupted. I shudder to think what would have happened if you hadn't come to my rescue. She was pretty cool back then. I think I'm falling for you and more and more! Actually, that might be true for me. Or something. But I know now, after talking to Lady Uwe, that the way I went about it was totally wrong. I didn't ask you how you felt about any of this, and I didn't think about your boundaries, and I was being horribly selfish. And if I could go back in time, I never would have forced myself on you like that, and uh, not that this really helps, I suppose, given that I forced myself on you, and uh, it's like to change the past, but uh, I don't know if I deserve it, so I won't ask for it, but really I'm sorry. If you never want to see me again, I understand, and, and uh, just say the word, I'll spit from your life for good, and... We should be so lucky. No, 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 don't say that. I want her to be in my life. You know who I want to disappear? A certain princess. Human princess. But I want to keep the mate around. Anyway, Marina murmurs this mutinously under her breath. She doesn't seem at all thrilled by Alice's words, but I feel rather more lenient towards her. It's true enough that Alice forced herself on me, but I can't bring myself to hate her for it. She seems pretty repentant about it. Look at her. In fact, I think she appears pretty cut up about all of this. That talk you gave her must have drummed some sense into her. I can't bring myself to resent her, not when she looks so very lost. I don't want to make her cry. She's so cute. It'd be a waste to spoil her pretty face with snot and tears, so... It's alright. I reassure Alice after pause. He? Is it really alright? Don't forget what she did to you, darling. I know you're a soft touch, but there is such a thing as being too forgiving. If you let Alice get away with her awful behavior, who's to say she won't walk all over you in the future? She'll never take you seriously, not like this. I know that, and I know Alice made a lot of mistakes. Technically only one. I'm going to absolve her for everything she did, but... I inhaled and smiling I stepped forwards and ruffled up Alice's head. I know why the, you did what you did. You were lonely, weren't you? I mean, she said that already. Yes, that's right. I was horribly, horribly lonely and I had nobody I could confide in. I've never really had any friends, you see, so I'm not good at talking to people. I guess that's why you would read what I did. I know how else to get your attention. Oh, please. There are better ways to get people's attention than assaulting them. I agree! You're being way too nice to her, Hiroki! I've always known you're a total pushover! I guess it must be to put up with Ayo's withdrawal. But Maria's right! I'm seeing to stand up for herself! Don't you have any self-respect? <laughs> no. <laughs> I have plenty of it at the moment, but I don't think I would if I made Alice cry. That would be unforgivable. You! Who are trying to repress here, idiot? You need to try and act like a knight in shiny armor, not when Alice is upset with you already. You'd better be careful, she'll fall for even harder she has, and before you know it... Green the eye runs, a hand across her neck. <coughs> she'll decapitate you, cover your skull in diamonds, and start talking to it quicker than you can say, for the love of God! No, I wouldn't. I, I wouldn't. I might not be entirely normal. Now that's putting it lightly. <laughs> but I'm not completely insane. So only a little insane then. Just a bit. I know I have problems, but never murdered Hiroki. I love him, in case you hadn't realized. Don't put horrible ideas like that into Hiroki's head. Although... Alice pauses, her expression thoughtful. If I did pull Hiroki's skull off his head, he would never be able to leave me. Then we really could stay together forever. That uh, might not be so bad. <laughs> I'm sorry, but I will have to veto that interesting plan of yours. While I do sympathize with you, Alice, my sympathy would soon dry up if you hurt Hiroki in any meaningful way. I do love him, after all. So do I! If you want to share him with us, you need to learn how to treat him properly. You need to ensure you hand him back to the rest of us in one piece, okay? With skull inside his head. Right, I'll do my best. Um, 
Provide the wooden money being a member of your harem, Hiroki. Of course not. <laughs> Uh, I wonder if Hazel will arrive even for a second. I smile at Alice and give her head another ruffle. You're very cute when you're not saying horrifying things, I mean, uh, I'd be more but happy to spend more time with you. Me too! No, 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 you, you go away, please. You might have kidnapped me, Alice, but you didn't really hurt me, and there's something you meant me no you will. I do know what it feels like lonely, having spent so much time in my life shut up inside the palace, I can fold you. Who knows? If I didn't have a wonderful friend like this to keep my company, I might have done something desperate too. You are too kind, be lady. Ah, Elizabeth. This woman treated you very poorly indeed. You'd be well within your rights if you held a grudge. It is a touch of natural, in fact, that you don't. But you always have been a good girl. That is one of the reasons why I love you so much. I don't. As for myself, however... Elizabeth looks at Alice arcly. I'm rather less forgiving. I will let matters slide for now because it is what Milady wants, but if you cause any future problems for her or for Mr. Okasawara, I'll make you regret it. Do I make myself plain? Quite plain! I'm sorry for being such a bother! I'll be on the best behavior from now on! <laughs> well, isn't this nice? Things were a bit dicey for a while, but looks like we're all made up. All is well that ends well. I think this ended a little too well. It's so schmaltzy, I feel like throwing up. Agreed. It still doesn't sit easily with me that Alice hasn't been punished for this. My right head is itching to deliver retribution to her behind, especially after she put me through so much humiliation. Oh, come on, every nyan. Let's not be so mean. Hiroki forgives Avi, so and so the stuffy, so we should do. Let's all turn another cheek. Advocate for peace, not war. Humanity will never advance if we're all at one another's throats. Now, since Steffi and Lizzie will be going back to Astoria soon, why don't we all have fun? I have a lot of dates planned for us in the next few days. And of course, you'd be more than welcome to come along, Alice. The more, the merrier. Look, going on dates, hmm. I've never been on a date before. The thought is a little scary, honestly. I don't know much about romance, but if I could experience it with you, Hiroki, then. I just take a step towards me, then takes hold of the front of my shirt. She looks up at me, her eyes half lit, then says, It might not be so bad after all. Please look out for me, I'll be in your care. So saying, saying Alice stands on her tiptoes. Kiss, kiss, fall in love, achievement. Mm. Oh my. Ah, do you have to do the right in front of my face? Ah, youngsters, do they really are brazen? I'm romantic. Is this supposed to be a declaration of war? It's supposed to admire her confidence by kissing my darling right in front of us fast? How shameless. I don't much like to see other women being intimate. With my hero it's true, but I'm trying to be less jealous. I need to learn how to share him, and I want Alice to be happy too. I think she deserves it. Mm. Alice's lips meet mine in a kiss. This isn't a harsh driving kiss like the ones she bestowed upon me in the abandoned warehouse. This kiss instead is sweet and gentle, almost chaste. Alice unnerved me when I first met her, it's true, but... Hmm. I don't hate her. I'm glad, in fact, that I met her. I'm cautiously looking forward to spending more time with her, and I hope we can all get along. It's just like Cosmo said, things really do seem to be shaping up well. Perhaps this really is a happily ever after, after all. Okay. Is it the credits? The credits. So Hazel did not arrive even for a second, which is kind of sad. Oh, I did not pay attention for a second. Was it... Was it... definitely was. 
Anywho, mm, Sakura Sakubu 7 completed. To be perfectly honest, I would not be surprised if Sakura Sakubu 8 would arrive. Which I would not have any problem with that. Uh, but seriously, I mean... Please, for the love of God, focus less on the princess. Because she's boring. Can we focus more on Elizabeth? Especially she's all, since she's also a succubus. Which is literally in the title, Sakura Succubus. Why do we concentrate here on a human? Oh boy, overall it was okay for... Overall it was okay. I mean, Cosmos arranged some nice dates. Uh, there was the maid training. There was some roller coasting. There was there was uh, our new girl bumping into us a bit. To be fair, in this situation, she should have approached. Oh yes, thank you for your help, and so on and so on. By the way, her heels are so high. Holy crap. Uh, also, you definitely went up. For I don't remember what... Like... My order of... Oh, Hifumi was not in this game as well. What the heck? Uh, I don't remember how I said last time... You know... How I like the girls kind of ranked but if I were to be frank right now I think like the top stays as it was so I kind of have the exact first place no you know what first place Cosmos second Hifumi for they are very close to be honest they are like together kind of on the first you could say sort of okay cosmos hifumi mm. let's think cosmos hifumi to be perfectly honest i think you were jumped into third i know like this 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 part of sakura sakura sakubus Kind of works for me. You can clearly say she's changing for better overall. And I think she also nailed it, like, for me with that outfit here. The new outfit she has. I, I really am digging that one. So, you effort... Mm, I'm gonna say Marina in 4th. Elizabeth in 5th. Even though I wish she also was not a character that was like, Oh, you need to love uh, the princess. Blah, 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 blah. No, Elizabeth. Uh, I'm after you, not the princess. Princess is boring. 6th. Uh, Hazel. Seventh. The problem is we didn't really get much of Alice. Mm. So we all we know is, you know, a little bit of her background and the fact that she kidnapped us, right? So I'm gonna give to seventh to Ayu. And the eighth will be Alice. Yeah. And and Stefania is not ranked at all because she's she's literally not a romantic interest for me. Quite literally. I don't know, she would be like a daughter to me or something something like that, if anything. Like I just can't find it myself to you know to see her as a romantic interest at all. Do you know why? But it is what it is. 
Anyway, now that we've concluded Sakura Succubus 7, mm, and I'm recording this on Friday, by the way, uh, which means this is going to be uploaded on a Saturday. Okay, Saturday. So, huh. Possibly, I. S well, from the perspective of the when this video is uploaded. Possibly, I streamed yesterday, that is Friday. Hmm. So on Saturday, I'll s I think I'll be recording something. Yeah. Hmm. I don't know what for. Maybe we'll drop by by itch.io again, because it's been a moment. And see what they have in the offer. I have a few games, so... Holy crap, I'm yawning like crazy today. E let's see. I have something on the desk, though. Yeah, okay, I have this. I don't remember what this is about at all. I think I launched it for a second. So, 34 games at the moment. But to be fair, I did not check what some of the freshest downloads are about. I might need to do that and maybe delete something. We'll see. Anywho, um, Sakura Sub, Succubus 7 completed. All 17 out of 17 achievements gained. Holy crap! There weren't really... Choices which would matter. That is a little surprising. But I guess also sort of fine. I guess sort of fine. Anyway, let's end it right here, of course. Uh, let's end it with... With this one. Yes, with you. Uh, because this is a very nice CG. Anyway, let's end it. Uh, hope you enjoyed Sakura Sakura 7. Mm, if you haven't seen any of the previous Sakura games, or if you are actually craving to go on a marathon with Sakura games, uh, just literally search them up on my channel. Whichever Sakura game you, you know, look for, you can search it, find a playlist, and binge it. Totally. I have all of those covered, and... They are all really, really fun games. Uh, also, if you enjoy it, consider liking the video, of course. That's super appreciated. If you want to see more of Sakura games in the future, of course, given that there will be more, which I assume there will be, consider subscribing, uh, because I'll definitely be playing those games. Um, that's a lot of ums. Twitch to the Instagram in the description if you're into any of that stuff, consider following me through there as well. It's free. And with that being said, given that this is going on Saturday, you still have Sunday in front of you. Hope you all will have a wonderful Sunday and that you can actually relax on that day. That's it. Bye-bye.